The first thing we'll want to focus on for our Twitter profile is the bio. The bio, which is the line right above our name and our handle, that's the name that we pick for our social media, is probably, not to oversell it, one of the most important things that you can do for your profile. In fact, the bio that you curate is the first thing that people will notice and hopefully get them to follow you. The few words that you choose will not only reflect your personality, but also inform people about the kind of content that they can expect from you. I keep my bio pretty simple and I use a straightforward strategy. I use my title, I'm a virtual assistant coach, and then I focus on who I serve, new and aspiring virtual assistants. And finally, I share the content that you can expect from me on the platform, tips, tools, trends, online courses, and I love my little occasional nonsense. I like to inject the bio with a little bit of personality and I love to tweet about nonsensical things once in a blue moon. This right here, by the way, is an example of my occasional nonsense. And as you can see, other people like my occasional nonsense. And FYI, I think we all can agree that 3 p.m. is or should be the end of the day on Fridays. I still stand by that. If you're having some trouble coming up with copy to use for your bio, I recommend a tool called Copy AI. Copy AI comes for free with limited usage, so you want to be sure you're using it wisely. But what we'll do is create a new project and we'll put here something like Twitter bio. We don't need to put a website for now, it's totally fine. I'll walk through this so you can see what it's like. In this second box where we have to actually describe, we'll probably want to include some details about us based on the formula I just shared. So that's who you are and your title, so that's a virtual assistant, and then who you serve. So I'm just gonna make up an example here. And then what kind of content can we expect from you? I'll say something like, follow me, for tweets about how virtual assistants can benefit your business. And then we can choose a tone. Friendly and witty are usually the two that I go through, but you can pick and choose whatever you want. So I definitely recommend playing around with some of these tones because it will change the verbiage a little bit. And then we click create copy. As you can see here, Copy AI has come up with several different iterations based on my input. And if there's something that you see that you like, you can go ahead and simply copy the details. And when you're ready to input them into your bio, we're gonna hit this edit profile section. And right here under bio is where we can actually paste the details. Now you'll notice that you have 160 characters. So unfortunately we'll have to reword this a little bit because copy AI's copy is a little bit too long. One more thing that you might wanna add is an emoji. Emojis can be beneficial because they also help inject a little bit of personality into your profile. Maybe we want to have a little green check right here because you feel like it'll draw your potential client's eyes to what you really want them to see, which is that you work with startups and founders. And if I were happy with this, I would click save. Right now, I want you to take five minutes to come up with your own bio for t your Twitter profile. And don't forget to use Copy AI as well. Again, it's a free tool. You can sign up for free and you can get started working with AI to craft your perfect bio.